All right, day nine. Taxi life day nine. And uh, surprisingly, there is a patch after what? 14 days. Finally, we get a patch. Patch update that was about uh, four, uh, four gigabytes or five gigabytes. I'm sorry, five gigabyte uh, patch update. As you can see it right here. Uh, installed on March 19th at uh, 1300 hours and 59 minutes at, at uh, roughly around 2 o'clock so I'm not sure what this patch consists of I haven't heard anything about this update and what this update it's going to fix uh, I'm not even sure if it's even fixing anything uh, or if it's just a maintenance uh, type of update uh, but clearly it was a 5 gigabyte update and um, I guess we'll find out if they have fixed the bugs or not but the good news is that they are starting to patch things up a little bit they're putting updates so that's a that's a good thing um, I just don't know what this patch update is actually doing I haven't heard nothing from uh, Simteract uh, they haven't made any official statement uh, I haven't heard anything on their Twitter I haven't seen any news on uh, their uh, steam community forums so uh, I can't really tell you what this patch is all about but it's a it's a hefty patch it's five gigabytes so I guess we're gonna find out if the bugs are still there if if they had fixed the uh, some of those issues uh, with the pedestrian AI and uh, I think that's the major one pedestrian AI and uh, traffic AI cars crashing into you and, and pedestrians running around uh, relentlessly without any care so uh, we're gonna go ahead and find out see what actually is fixed and how the game performs thank you Dustin uh, welcome to the chat uh, I'm good it's just uh, it's been a long night for me last night so I got maybe five hours of sleep and uh, I'm kind of uh, cranky you know I just I don't know, just feel like uh, I feel like John Wick falling down the steps and you know rusty got my cup of coffee but don't worry I'll uh, I'll survive Because Baba Yaga survives no matter what. That's the way I am. No steps falling down will stop me. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. I really do hope that they fix those bugs. I don't know, maybe they're maybe they're watching. Maybe they're watching my live stream. Maybe they're listening. Maybe they're like, you know, maybe this guy makes a lot of sense. It's like, why wouldn't we want this to be successful? You know, we have a great opportunity here to make this game better uh, I look I'll go back to American Truck Simulator in 2016 when the American Truck Simulator came out granted all sorts of issues all sorts of problems it didn't it didn't run smooth there was a lot of problems right but SCS uh, software they developers they listened they listened to the feedback and they said you know what let's let's give people what they want they want more of this they want more of that Let, let's go ahead and let's let's give them what they want and when you do that when you give people what they want home run dude you hit a home run it's like it's like baseball analogy you hit a home run dude you good yeah 
But that's why it's important for developers to do listen to, to feedback. And this goes for everybody, not just for, for this developer, for any developer out there. Uh, remember, you're making video games for us. You're not making video games for yourself. You have to remember that. I can't sell you something if I'm just making it for myself. Because then I'm going to limit myself to whom I can sell it. Because not everyone's going to like what I'm trying to sell. Because it's my own preference. But when you are, you know, appeasing to people and giving people what they want, then people are most likely to purchase that and buy that because you are giving them what they want. That's just the way it is, man. All right, let's continue. Oh, man, I would love to see uh, N, uh, NYC, New York Taxi. I would like to see Crown Victoria. Dude, they got to bring Crown Victoria. I mean, that is the, the crown jewel of taxis. Crown Victoria. I mean, come on, man. You got to have Crown Victoria. That would be like the, the major step is Crown Victoria. Got to bring that in there. Uh, I would like to see... Uh, Lincoln Town Car, Limo, uh, Cadillac, Limo, uh, I would like to see Escalades, Cadillac Escalades, Chevy Tahoes, Suburbans, things like that, um, I would like to see minivans, uh, yeah, stuff like that, for sure, absolutely. But limo is definitely something I would really love to see. Limo would be a great addition. Imagine how many passengers you can put in the limo and how much money you'd be able to make just by having a... Hold on. Just by having a uh, limo. Oh, this one's got thirteen hundred dollars. Nice. You know, I'm going to go with a uh, minivan. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, to my garage and then go to the uh, minivan so I can make more money. Well, van is where you make more money, though. Honestly, I think using a van is is your best uh, best option. Uh, Mercedes is good, but do you really need fast cars here? I don't think you're gonna benefit from having a fast car here, because fast cars really. Uh, make no difference here because you're not on a timer uh, you know it's not like a crazy taxi where you're on a timer and you have to kind of get there on time you know this game it's more about um, making your customers happy
I'm looking at the uh, the pedestrians and uh, it seems like that they're not really running like crazy uh, like they used to like jump around here quite a lot in this area and I don't see them that often I think they might have toned down the pedestrians crossing the uh, the crosswalk and that's good uh, I'm kind of happy about that I also noticed that the uh, responsiveness on the wheel it's a little bit better and I see they gave us another option to look left to look right when you're turning oh that's cool I like that this is a good uh, good option to have turning left turning right to look up like when you make a turn you see there's not that many pedestrians see when she crosses the street she goes that way she's not crossing again so that's good that's good see now I can look up when I turn that's good all right so there, there's few they're fixing okay this is good um, I'm glad that they are you know that they are fixing these uh, that they're like at least working on it so that that shows me that they are serious about uh, this game uh, longevity of this game like you know. and that's good that's good because you know um, nobody wants to see a train life repeat you know and I don't know why would they want to have that repeat either uh, so it's good that they're that they're starting to patch these things up and that they're listening that they're watching so that's good man. Uh, that's a good news you see there's less pedestrians less uh, craziness in and out in and out in and out crosswalking so that's good you know, uh, that's pretty good actually Hey, look, man, you never know. Who knows? A year from now, two years from now, who knows where this game's going to be? You know, if it becomes very successful, if more people uh, start playing it, more people start buying it, if it becomes available on uh, uh, Game Pass and PlayStation Plus, oh, that'll even be... Uh, it, if it becomes available on a GeForce Now, right? So uh, I can see them approaching... Uh, more people with this game and uh, with a reasonable price I could see uh, taxi life go to distance because remember when American truck came out it was a mediocre game like it didn't it really wasn't like as it is right now but it slowly it evolved it slowly grew and it slowly accelerated and uh, started building up and the community started you know supporting the game uh, and developers started making money and with the money that they were making they were able to pay for the licensing fees to get all the trucks licensings from the manufacturers and uh, they were able to bring those real trucks and the real locations uh, so that's how it grew it, it, from small to big remember small things have a great beginning everything starts small that little embryo right and then it grows we all start small and then we grow bigger and larger and that's how everything is pretty much um when it comes to um When it comes to like settings in terms of uh,
like controls and all that. Uh, right out of the gate, um, with a Logitech hub, there's this Logitech hub software, right? I'm using a Logitech G29. And with the Logitech hub, uh, it automatically uh, calibrates your pedals, your brakes, your rotation on the wheel, uh, and um, it works right out of the gate with a taxi life. So taxi life with a racing wheel, Logitech G920, G923, uh, it's much, much more realistic and better experience. I recommend everybody to use a Logitech racing wheel on the taxi life. It, it's, look, this right here, yes, you can adjust the sensitivity. They give you the option, uh, Dustin, to adjust the sensitivity on the gas, on the brake. Uh, they give you the uh, ability to adjust uh, a thumbstick, left thumbstick uh, sensitivity as well. But it's still better, you know, using a racing wheel. Uh, I would highly recommend the racing wheel. I think that's where you really... Uh, you're going to benefit from taxi life. I'm not saying that you can't use a gamepad. Yes, you can. You can adjust it. But if you really, really, really want that that awesome Uber driver experience, then you got to go with a with a Logitech racing wheel, man. I told this to um, Michael Spencer, my friend. I told him, and I think he already purchased a, a G920 uh, racing wheel. So, but yes, uh, the pedals and the brakes, it really depends on a couple of things. It depends on your upgrade. You see, there's upgrades. You can upgrade your car. Like, let me give you one example. Uh, I'll, I'll give you one example in a minute. Here. Hold on. Hold on one sec. Oh, I'm having some issues here. Oh. Let me uh, just do just do this one more time. That's bad. So, you can upgrade your car. So, to answer your question, how your brakes are, how your acceleration is, it depends on uh, how much you have put money to upgrade your car. For example, uh, you see on the right, right over here, it tells you the brake power. And it tells you the acceleration power. And then shows you uh, traction on your uh, tires and longevity of your tires. Same thing with the speed, like what type of uh, transmission do you have. So it depends on the upgrades. Of, of course, the more money you put into your car, the more maintenance you do, the more upgrades you utilize, the better the braking system is going to be, uh, better the acceleration is going to be. And of course, the more upgrades you put, the better the uh, maneuverability is going to be on that certain car. So that's why you have parts to upgrade your car. So the money that you make, you use that money to upgrade your car, just like in real life. You know, you, you want your car to run better, to be more uh, efficient. Well, you're going to have to spend some money into your car. You're going to have to start, you know, investing money and start upgrading your car. Same thing, you know, like yourself, to keep yourself healthy, you have to start investing into yourself, going to doctors, exercising, this, this, and that, right? <sighs> Taking certain medicine, right? So it's all about, like, maintenance and upgrades. So it's no different for your cars. Uh, for example, like this one right here, like this uh, Mercedes. This Mercedes that I have, I mean, look at this thing. Let me show you. 
I already have upgraded this car. Look at this. The speed is 10. Acceleration is 10. Brake power is 9. Maneuverability is 5. And tractions on the tire, it's 10. So what does this mean? This means that with this car, with this Mercedes, um, I won't have to worry about changing tires so often because the, the traction is much, much more better and durability is much more efficiently better and longer. Uh, so in terms of acceleration, it's maximized all the way to 10. In terms of speed, uh, the gear ratio, all of that, it's... Uh, totally fully optimized uh, but to me personally the brake power maneuverability and traction these three are the most important acceleration and speed is really not that important because you're not racing against the time uh, and your customers don't like fast and the furious super fast you know we're not in a street racing game we're not in a uh, GT type game we're not a set of Corsa here. Uh, we're pretty much in business of making our customers happy and relaxed. So we want to make sure that they have a good experience while we're transporting them to their location. So what do you want? You want the good brake power so you can stop at the red light. Uh, and you can also stop so you don't hit the pedestrian. Uh, and then maneuverability so you can move around the traffic. And then traction is another thing you want to be uh, top-notch because you don't want your tires to blow out uh, and get flat and they will go flat after so many miles so this is mainly what I'm looking for this is what I'm like always keeping an eye on those three elements right here well they, they could do a, a, a shuttle bus Dustin they could do a, a shuttle bus that's something I would like to see, a shuttle bus. You know those uh, shuttle buses that they have when, when they take people to the airport or when they take them to the concert or whatever? Uh, you can put like 15 people or 20 people in there. It's like a little mini uh, a shuttle bus. That would be great. You know, that would really, uh, you would make a, a truckload of money. But just give me a limo or uh, a big minivan. You know, like a big minivan would really help where I can put eight people. Uh, with eight people, I could make like 10 grand easy. 10,000, 10 grand easy. Uh, and if you purchase five vans or 10 vans, well, then you multiply how many, uh, you know, passengers you'll be picking up and making like a, a X, X time X amount of that money, you know, by the end of the by the end of the shift and you'll be probably pulling in like 30,000 40,000 50,000 60 uh, 60,000 probably a hundred thousand by the end of uh, the week you'll be making some crazy money then you can use that money to buy more cars to upgrade more things and continue on you know so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna switch cars because uh, I'm gonna use the van And I'm also going to go to my management to assign my uh, Mercedes. I'm going to assign this Mercedes to VIP. To her, and she'll be working this area right here. Between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Uh, and the guy over here, uh, I'm going to put uh, Felix to work between 3 p.m and 11 so we'll put him uh, we'll put him over here actually put him here and then this one we'll put a Edward from 9 p.m. from 9 p.m. till whatever 5 p.m. I mean 9 p.m. Uh, 5 a.m. I'm sorry 9 p.m. 5 a.m. so now everybody's here working I got one two three 
four. I got four people working in four different districts. And uh, now with all of these uh, employees that I have, I'll probably make more income by the end of the, uh, the shift. Now you can also auto-sign it if you want to. You can use auto-assign. Uh, but I personally think it's better if you just uh, do it yourself and pick and choose uh, districts yourself because you want to make sure that you put them in a most busiest districts and the most busiest time so that way you can pull in more money right so what I'm gonna put myself well you have to work see I found out from from others who play this game as well that you have to work the same hours that your employees are working okay they work when you work but you have to work in the same time that they're working so I got my guys from 9 a.m. till 5 a.m. which is pretty much the entire day pretty much 24 hours the entire day and I'm gonna use a van but before I use this van I want to make some upgrades on this van uh, so let's see let's customize it I already have this so we'll use this we'll install it uh, I want to see what parts I have I want to invest on braking this is the the most important aspect is the braking system so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase a brake disc ventilated brake disc system I, it's only 500 because uh, braking it's something that's really important and uh, like those things right here like th this is what I keep telling people if you look right above me right over there that column uh, the the bottom three the brake power maneuverability and traction these three are the most important and you're gonna need those three because brake power maneuverability and traction it's gonna give you the ability to avoid unnecessary accidents a maneuverability also is gonna help you avoid unnecessary accidents and the traction will help you uh, have longevity on your tires so those are the those are the three that I'm looking forward to So I already bought this and I'm going to install it. There it is, it's installed. Uh, should I get the tires? Well, I don't have enough money for the tires, but we'll keep that in mind next time. Right now, I really don't want to uh, focus too much on the spending money right now on tires because I need to make some money. I'm at like $900 right now. So I want to be very careful as to uh, how my, you know, uh, wasting my money. You know, it's, it's also a strategical game. You have to be uh, very strategical on how you are using your finances to keep your business running uh, just like in real life you know you can be just overspending and not getting anything uh, so you kinda have to be careful about how you manage your money uh, so let's go ahead and make some money there we are Turn on the light. 
I like this uh, color scheme. Uh, dark, dark, blue, gray, and silver. Or dark, blue, gray, and silver. Yeah, yeah I like this. I like this color scheme. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Hold on. First, I need to turn on the car. There we go. I might have to go to the... Uh... You know what? Let me fill up the battery. Uh, hold on. Uh, I need to fill up the batteries. So... And fix up the car just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Tires, get the tires fixed up a bit. Yeah. The brakes. See? Clean my car a little bit. All right, that's good. All right, so now we're good, fully charged, ready to rock and roll. Remember, you have perks. You have perks, and these perks can be used. Uh, hold on. These perks can be used, like, to uh, avoid tickets, to uh, help you uh, reduce the cost on maintenancing your car. And uh, now I have this other perk called Handyman Maintenance, which can give me the ability to fix the car without having to go back to the garage, which is an added benefit uh, that you don't have to waste time when you can make a good profit. And there's two more. Uh, perks over here. Low abating uh, obedience, which two tickets per day are canceled. That can really help me out, save money. And then this one too, hitting a pedestrian takes less money. I mean, it's still going to be fine, but it's going to be less money. So these perks can also help you great deal uh, saving money. So what I'm trying to say, this game, it's very rewarding, right? The more time you put into it, the more it gives back. And I think this is something that not a lot of people talk about. And now that I have spent uh, nearly 50 hours, 50 plus hours now on the day nine, I think I'm very familiar with this game after 50 plus hours. Um, and uh, the more you put into it, the more it gives back. And it's very rewarding. And I think that's, the, I think that's why I gave it a 7. People ask me what score would I give this game. I give it a 7. 7 out of 10, which is a good score. Uh, a good score. In order for the game to be 8 or 9... It has to have a lot of features. It has to have a lot of variety. And currently, right now, it's, it's not there yet. But once they do, once they implement more variety, more features, then sure, I might change my score to 8 or 9, depending the, the trajectory future of this game and where it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do these jobs. Let's not uh, waste any more time. Okay. All right, so first thing first. Oh, 
Okay, we'll do, let me see. Um, let's see what else is available. All right, this is the best I can get right now at the moment, so we'll go with this. I might, I might get some tip as well. So you got to remember, my other uh, employees are working, so they're making money too. You got to remember that. turn around here God, I'm crashing into a lot of things. And I already crashed my car. Let me see if I can fix my car on the go. Hold on. I want to see if I can do this. Oh, there it is. I can fix my car on a go. The car's fixed. There. I like that. Hold on a second. I need to check something here really quick. Something is messed up with my uh, controller settings. Um, I think this new update, um, what it did basically, all my key bindings has been kind of messed up. So now I got to go through my key bindings and I got to fix this. Uh, uh, left blinkers, it's going to be this. Right left blinkers right 
Blinkers, rebind. Uh, all right, that's all I need. Uh, look right, look back, and forward. Lights change. Lights change could be. Let me see. Could be this. There we go. Um, tablet screen change. There we go. All right, now we're good. Uh, save. So now we're good. So now I got everything I need. There we go. Okay. Got the lights. Got the blinkers. Can look right. Can look left. Okay. All good. Uh, this is why I recommend Racing Wheel. Because with Racing Wheel, man, you can... Uh, You can key bind all of this stuff, man. And uh, everything's uh, at the wheel. All your controls are at the wheel. So you'll never have to worry about, you know, uh, trying to uh, click somewhere else to do it, right? You don't have to go check your keyboard and click on the keyboard. Everything's at your wheel where it should be. And once you memorize it where it is on your wheel, just like in a car, right? You don't have to worry about it anymore. You know where everything is. And this is why I keep telling everybody. This is why you need um, a racing wheel. So as far as the pedestrians, I mean, they're still walking the crosswalk, but it's not like like it was before. It's kind of toned down a little bit. It's more like a controlled chaos now. It's not like a totally free-for-all chaos. Now it's like a controlled chaos. It's a little bit, a little bit better. like how you can look like this double check so the good news is this you know at least they're 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 working on it okay they're at least they're trying now to to you know, fix the uh, algorithm. An algorithm is really what the uh, what the issue is. The algorithm of uh, the AI and how the AI behaves, right? So it's look. This will only get better with each update. This is their very first update. Uh, it only it's only going to get better.
겁니다. So I most definitely see less traffic in terms of pedestrians. They're still there, and they still once in a while, you know, cross the street, of course, but it's not like the way it was previously. It's not like the way it was when it first uh, this game was released, you know. The, the, the pedestrians were, like, all over the place. It was like uh, they were going on, like, a concert or something, man. It was like... Uh, Like a Woodstock concert. They were like all over the place, man. This is my client right there. Let's pick him up. Hey there. Hello there, everyone. How we doing? I hope everybody's having a good time. So remember, the whole point of, of, of this game, it's not to get your passengers on time. It's to really uh, make them comfortable. You know, there's, it's not like there's a timer where you have to really hurry up and get there. Uh, the whole idea is that you are a good driver and that you are making them feel comfortable. You know... Otherwise, their patience will run out. Now, the one request I have made uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday throughout these live streams uh, to developers is... Uh, support for Toby Eye Tracker. I think having a support for Toby Eye Tracker to look around could really uh, make a huge difference in terms of like uh, experience. You know, remember the the experience of this game really depends on what are you using. Are you using a racing wheel or are you just using a controller? If you're using a controller, then the the experience is not going to be all that great. Okay, so it really depends on what you're using. If you are using a Toby Eye Tracker or a racing wheel, right now there is no Toby Eye Tracker support, but that's why I'm requesting that they add Toby Eye Tracker support or IR Tracker support because that way I don't have to do this, press the button to look around. I can just turn my head and look around. And that's really going to make the experience even more immersive in... Uh, this taxi life game and all of this um, feedback that I'm giving to developers they can use this feedback and they can you know they can implement these features and these features it's really gonna make this game better uh, it's gonna make people more excited to to play it right uh, one of the 
one of the cool things about today's gaming versus uh, I think it's something I wanted to make a video about but I guess I'll just talk about it here instead of making a video one of the cool things about today's gaming industry versus uh, early 90s right and early 2000s is the fact that in early in, in late 90s I'm sorry in late 90s early 90s there was a car cartridge right cartridge the game it's already put in the cartridge in that memory of cartridge uh, and what you get is what you get it's since in it's in there uh, same thing with a compact disc when it came out for uh, you know uh, Sega Saturn and PlayStation uh, what you get on that compact disc is what you get right and uh, that was it that's what you have is what you have it's in there uh, and you really can do nothing about that now due to the internet and these different platforms that we have in servers now the developers can patch things up they can add certain things on the game they can add DLCs they can uh, improve the game add certain stuff in the game that people are requesting so now the game can evolve with uh, the gamers and I think that's the one positive like if you're gonna ask me what's the one positive about today's gaming is the relationship between uh, the developers and uh, gamers because remember uh, developers need gamers you know that's that's their bloodline that's their bread and butter that's how they make money so it's it's very important to them to to hear our feedback to hear what we're can saying you turn on the radio sure I can turn on the radio Thanks. Um, and I you know I was thinking about that and I wanted to make a video about it but I guess I could talk about it here uh, and that's one aspect that I really find positive in today's uh, gaming industry is this ability 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 to to be able to uh, get in touch with uh, developers and you can give your feedback and they look at the feedback and then uh, throughout the feedback they can see what people want what people don't want and they can cater that game based on what the gamers want uh, so I think that's a huge benefit uh, of uh, today's gaming industry because back in the days you know what you get on that disc is what you get uh, if there's a bug in there it is what it is there's nothing nothing they can do about it uh, I mean they could resell the game again put it on the disc but that costs a lot of money uh, however now you don't have to worry about that now you can actually all right I see a potential on this game uh, I want this game to be um, more better right to to have more features uh, and they can do that you know so this is not the, like think of it this way when you purchase a game these days it's not a final product it's it's a work in development honestly so a lot of these games you know now I'm laughing when I hear oh it's a finished product no it's always a work in development because you always updating and patching these games and, and putting the new DLCs I mean look at Mortal Kombat look at uh, Street Fighter look at Call of Duty Warzone for crying out loud look at how many seasons we have each year so uh, I think that's the one benefit of video games today is this relationship between uh, a gamers and developers so you never purchase a final product you know um, it drives me crazy when people say Ooh, oh this is the final product no it's not it's not a final product it's a work in development yes you paid for it but it's a work in development you know for example the rise of the Ronin if there's something that people don't like maybe in the rise of the Ronin and a lot of people are complaining about maybe a parry system or whatever uh, you never know 
Team Ninja could uh, have patch update and uh, you know give us an option not to parry to do different things to change a combat. So you know you can do that now with today's gaming industry. You have that ability uh, to have this relationship with developers. And I was really thinking about this, and and uh, I was like, my God, I never thought about it. Like I've been always harsh and critical of developers, you know. But I never stop to look and, and, and say, well, wait a minute. It's really easy to get in touch with developers, right? You look at Discord. Uh, you look at uh, their social media. It's so easy to get in touch with developers. You know what I mean? You were not able to do that 25 years ago. You have to read about it in a magazine. You buy a magazine and you read about it in a magazine, right? Oh, oh okay. Uh, but now uh, things have changed after uh, 25 years you know things have changed and I think that that's that's the the positive uh, silver lining that I see me personally uh, with video gaming industry everybody else is just gloom and doom gloom and doom you know gaming industry sucks these days blah 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 I don't you know what I look at it from a different uh, alternative from from a different scope now from a more like a wider uh, widescreen scope almost like an IMAX ratio scope and I see an opportunity to have a relationship uh, with with developers which which we which I did man like you look at uh, the American dream I got in touch with developers uh, Alaskan road truckers got in uh, in touch with developers various different games got in touch with developers uh, so and, and I think having that relationship with developers whether it's discord or their social media what have you uh, really um, puts things in perspective so when you when you pay seventy dollars it's not a final product it's work in development and I think that's the way I look at it and I hope that you guys will agree on that I look at it as a a work in development like when Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out this Friday I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some hiccups uh, the server is not saving my character I'm losing all the you know uh, goodies that I have with my character I have to go back and recreate the character there will be some issues do you know why because everybody wants to jump on Dragon's Dogma this Friday and the servers are going to be crushed with the amount of people that are going to try to play Dragon's Dogma 2, right? So the server is going to be just crushed. Uh, so you have to be aware of that. So no one should really complain come Friday, oh, Dragon's Dogma 2 servers this, servers that. Well, gee whiz, yeah. <laughs> It, it's it's a it's a hugely anticipated game this spring, um, and uh, a lot of people want to play it. Rightly so, and a lot of people want to be in it to create their characters, to live stream it, to have a good time with it. We get it, right? We all want to have a good time, but it's not a final product. It's a work in development. There will be updates. There will be patches. Look at Hell Divers too. When Hell Divers 2 came out, it was really uh, not that good. People couldn't get in. People couldn't play. You wouldn't save their, you know, achievements and their character progress. But over time, it got better and better, and now it's now it's really great. No issues. So, I think that's the silver lining that I'm trying to to kind of put forth here. That that I don't see many people talk about on YouTube. Everybody's just saying, "Oh, today's." gaming industry sucks and today's game this and today's game that blah 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 all the negative stuff right and I'm like well hold on a second it's not you know the end of the world I mean Jesus Christ relax uh, there's some positive in that and one of the positives that I have realized and it's just out of the blue like like last night I was thinking about this I was watching some youtubers and to see what they're saying and da 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 da, da. and I'm like well wait a minute like hold on a second um, there's some positive here 
And the positive is you get to talk to developers. You get to give developers the feedback. You get to be in touch with developers. You couldn't do that 25 years ago, right? You would have to beg them for an interview, and then the interview has to be approved uh, under certain conditions, da 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 da, da. Um, But now you have ability to really express yourself and say, hey, like right now, I'm pretty sure developers are watching this. One of the developers who created this game is watching this, and they're like, okay, let's see what Mr. Forke has to say. And uh, I think that is one key positive that we have today that we didn't have before, you know. So when you, when you spend $70 on a video game, relax. It's not a final product, right? When you purchase uh, The Rise of the Ronin for $70, and if you maybe don't like a combat system, it's not a final product. Team Ninja could change that. They can work around that. They can give you different options. They can patch it up and update uh, to change difficulty settings, combat for certain people who want to fight a certain way. Right? They can do that. Same thing with Dragon's Dogma too. Uh, so, um, you know what I mean? I think that's the positive of today's video gaming. Now, don't expect every developer to listen to your feedback. Some developers, they choose to listen, and some, they choose not to listen. And that is their right. They have a right to say, nah, we believe in what we're making here. We believe in this decision. It's a final decision. We appreciate your feedback, but that is our decision. They have a right to do that. But you also have a right not to play their game and not to buy their game. So you see how it works? You know what I mean? And, uh, but the opportunity that you could actually get in touch, go to Discord and talk to developers and give them your feedback. Uh, and then they can look at your social media, your YouTube, uh, your live stream. And based on that, they can, you know, have their own uh, opinions on what they think should be done with their video game. That's pretty substantially awesome that you have that ability to do that. Because before, 25 years ago, you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. So, uh, that's all I wanted to say. I really wanted to make a video about this. But I guess uh, since I already talked about it, no point in me making a video about it. It's just, it surprised me that no one really thought about this. Like, hey, why are we complaining? Even me included. Uh, well, I don't think I complain. I'm more like a feedback. I wouldn't say that I'm complaining. I'm more of like a feedback. I'm giving them a feedback. Every game. Even Stadia. I was not, you know, trying to be, you know, a jerk to Stadia or anything like that. Or to Phil Harrison. I was just trying to give Stadia and Phil Harrison a feedback, right? Now, whether they listen or don't listen, that's up to them. That is their choice. But... The fact that I had the ability to have a tweet exchange between me and Phil Harrison, that's priceless, right? The fact that he kind of got in touch with me and I told him how much I love Stadia and I told him I wish you all the best of luck. And, uh, and he says, well, we appreciate it. We're glad you like it. And uh, give us any feedback you have. Go to our, you know, uh, our Discord page. Go to our uh, forum page and da 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 or you can leave it here. Like the ability to be able to 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 get in touch with like uh, CEOs and 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 uh, like you can get in touch with Phil Spencer. Like you can tell Phil Spencer, Phil Spencer how you feel. Like I'm friend with Phil Spencer on Xbox. Whether he's gonna reply to me or listen to me, that's up to him. Uh, that's his choice. Same thing with me, who I choose to reply whom I choose to talk to, that's up to me. That's my business. Um, but the fact that you have access to do that, to let your voice be heard, to let developers know, or the CEOs of the, of the companies like Xbox and PlayStation, to let them know how you feel, it's really substantially awesome to have that. And I think that's the positive... Um, 
silver lining that I see. And now, that's all I wanted to say, so let's continue. got another client here You see less pedestrians now crossing the, uh, the crosswalk, which makes it more, more realistic, you know. So what, what did they do on this update? Well, I can tell you that they have most definitely toned down uh, the pedestrians walking around the crosswalk because they would be like zombies all over the place so they definitely have toned that down uh, which is great uh, I don't see cars crashing as often as I, I did in my previous uh, live streams so that's also another good positive so look the good news is this they're listening and they are they're being committed and that's good you know so it's not gonna turn out like a train life uh, so that's what makes me happy and that should make you happy so that way you know hey I didn't uh, just you know purchase this final product like this and that's what it is now you know that you have uh, longevity support that they are gonna support this game and that's good But you got to get yourself a racing wheel. I said this to Michael, uh, Mike, uh, Mike Spencer. I told him uh, you got to get the, and he did. He got to get himself a racing wheel. You have to buy a racing wheel. Which version should you go with? Uh, look. <clears throat> If you only have a console, I understand, you, you know, it is what it is. But if you have a PC, a, a, a semi-decent, semi-decent PC, um, I think you can run this game on the medium settings. Uh, you should be okay. <clears throat> You see, pedestrians are now just waiting. They're not crossing the 
the crosswalk just like that. If it's a, if it's a green light for you, they're gonna stop. They're not gonna walk it. So that's good. Now, having said that, of course, there's still, there's still room for the improvement, of course. There's always a room for the improvement. That, that's the whole point. I don't know, it just seems more or less chaotic. Like, uh, if you look at my live stream yesterday, uh, the cars were crashing into each other, cars were like flipping upside down. Uh, so it's, it's less chaotic, you know. And the pedestrians are just going in one direction. They're not going back and forth, you see that. They're just going one direction, that's it. They cross the walk, and that's it. <clears throat> they do the crosswalk, they go on the other side, and they're done. So, uh, you know, it's getting better. I'm not saying that they fixed everything. They didn't, of course. But it's at least it's a start, and they're working on it. <clears throat> If I didn't have a steering wheel, there's no way that I would be this good driving in this game. Like this precise. There's just no way to, that that would ever be the case. see you don't see cars crashing into me like they used to There we go. Hi there.
I'm going to try to get this uh, passenger happy, getting where he needs to go in a uh, smooth ride fashion. Hold on a second. Just gotta check something really quick, guys. Do you know what's uh, worth seeing in Barcelona? Arch uh, architecture. Architecture is great. Can you tell me something more? Yeah, monument. There are lots of great monuments. How do I recognize them? Gaudi's words are one of a kind. You won't be able to overlook it. Mm, yeah, I'll be more aware of it on my next sightseeing tour. It really feels like a real taxi now, with the smooth controls and much better AI. This is what I was saying, man. You know, this game has the potential to be uh, to be pretty cool, uh, and it can be. You see, you rarely see now cars crashing into each other. Rarely. See? Cars are not crashing. Well, the AI is very important, you know, tweaking the AI algorithm so it, 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 it feels more like a, like a simulator, you know. Hold on a second, guys. I think I'm catching a spring, spring flu or some shit.
you see the pa I mean the, the the pedestrians are not jumping on the street they stay on a sidewalk that's how it should be they should be on the sidewalk and I like that they're not like jumping in and out like crazy um, so yeah that's definitely a bonus now I also noticed that the timing on the, on the traffic lights, it's a little bit better. You know, this game, um, over time, once it becomes available on a Game Pass and, and PlayStation Plus and GeForce Now and other places, uh, I think you're going to see more people jump in on it. You're going to see more people playing it. And then by then, all the DLCs and all the other... Uh, accolades they're going to put into this game if they des decide to do so we might even see taxi life too in a in a different city or something yeah. to me new york city would be a must yes that would be a, a huge undertaking to to have the uh, real representation of new york city but man that would be the one taxi game that oh my god I mean, New York City is the capital of taxi. I mean, Jesus. I remember when I first landed in JFK in New York. The first thing I saw was yellow cabs. All the Chevy Impalas and all that. Bunch of yellow cabs. Everywhere. Uh, even, especially at the Times Square. I mean, the amount of yellow cabs I've seen in Times Square. Oh my God, man, it's ridiculous. Hold on. This guy's not moving. Come on, move. Why is this guy not moving? Seriously, dude. Why are you not moving? Huh? All right, I might have to clear the traffic. Hold on. Come on, man, move, for the love of God.
see, it's a little bit better. Pedestrians are not going too crazy, walking back and forth, back and forth. So it's a little bit better. I think I missed. <sighs> Gotta make another U turn. I don't know how I missed it. I really don't know. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's what it is. I was looking at the pedestrians, I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Very successful. Come on, give me a good tip, man. I did a pretty good job. Oh, almost level 26, man. Almost level 26. He gave me a four stars. All right, it's not bad. Made $859. Easy money. Okay, let's see what else we got. I tell you what I'm gonna do. Okay, this one's looking for a premium car. I have to go to the garage and change to um, and change to a a Mercedes. I wanna I wanna change to a Mercedes. So uh, that's what I wanna do. I wanna get to a Mercedes. And drive my Mercedes. Come on.
So like I said earlier, the good news is they are starting to roll the patches and they're they're listening to feedback and uh, so that that's a good news that's a good start that they're at least you know at least they're doing something okay they're, they're starting from somewhere that shows me that okay they are being serious about being committed to this game and that's good But just like with any other game, it'll take time till all of these things are patched up properly on both console and the PC. You know, all of that stuff will take time. It's not going to happen overnight, uh, but eventually it will get better and better and better and better. Uh, well, like I said, a good example is American Truck Simulator. When it first came out in 2016, of course, had his shares of issues. You know, American Truck had a lot of issues and problems. It didn't work out well. I remember it because uh, I I did a live stream on it. It's still there somewhere. Um, of course, my channel name was something else back then. I think Video Gaming Galaxy or whatever, or Gaming Walt. I can't remember what it was, but before I became Mr. Four K upscaler with all the televisions and all that Sent to the garage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign this uh, this van to one of my employees, and I'm going to uh, switch to uh, this is gonna be my next car. This one, because this thing has a great maneuverability. I'll probably go with this next. Mm. So I'm gonna switch to my. Mercedes. There we go. She's going to be driving. Uh, right here. From three till eleven. So which car is the best? You know, of course, Mercedes, without a doubt, uh, this one right here is the is the best. Mercedes, of course, it's not a real Mercedes; it's a uh, a fake version of a Mercedes because they don't have uh, licensing uh, to have the real Mercedes manufacturer be put in this game. But who knows if this game becomes successful? Just like American truck, Euro truck, they might have uh, a licensing and the blueprints of the ability to bring the real Mercedes cars and, you know. But keep in mind, this is a small company, you know, so like we have to also kind of be aware of that. You know, this is not a, like a huge developer company, it's a small developer company, so we have to be kind of aware of that as well. And that's why you're paying $29, you're not paying $69. All right.
We already have a client here, not too far. The client is right here, uh, $828.78, and I'm going to go pick him up. Now, please do remember what I said about <coughs> the experience of this game. It'll be better with a uh, racing wheel. And, you know, I know I've been repeating that quite a while now, saying that. But it's true. The best experience is using a Logitech racing wheel. That's not to say that you're not gonna have a, a, a good time using a, a controller laying on your on your bed, sure. But you're gonna you're gonna get frustrated because you're gonna obviously hit the cars, hit pedestrians, and and. and the, the steering, it's kind of jerky. It's not really uh, properly uh, calibrated. Even though there is a way to adjust the sensitivity, but even with the sensitivity adjustments, it's still not as, as realistic and as, as, as awesome as using a, a, a racing wheel. When I first started this game, I didn't use a racing wheel. When I first started this game, I used um, what you call it um, a controller, and with a controller, sure, it's playable. But I was frustrated, very frustrated with a with a controller. And you can go check out my day one live stream, and you'll see my frustration with. Um, driving a taxi life game with a controller. So anyway, Logitech, if you if you have a Logitech racing wheel that's uh, supported for your PlayStation and Xbox, go with a racing wheel man same goes for Gran Turismo like I I really can't see myself using a controller on a uh, even though it's it's great you know uh, PlayStation 5 controller is great but I really see myself only using a racing wheel with a Gran Turismo or, or a set of course uh, or any of these racing games man uh, a racing wheel it's a must same thing with uh, with a flight simulator I, I can't see myself using a controller to operate a, a, a flight simulator like you gotta have a yoke you gotta have a, a joystick right uh, so same is true here too as well hold on let me adjust there we go. So we got another client here. Hey. Let's go. You see pedestrians are not jumping uh, from the sidewalk. The pedestrians are now on the sidewalk. They're not like jaywalking. They're not doing anything stupid. So that really helps. Okay. I guess when they go to the new place.
so yes this is the best car that you can get currently uh, on um, taxi life it's a fake Mercedes uh, but it's really good and it's expensive it's twenty four thousand dollars you know uh, in this game they call it premium car it's a premium car and some passengers they wanna you know they wanna be in a premium car right and the more premium cars you have the better uh, you'll have more tip you'll have uh, better customers who are willing to pay more money you know because they want to drive in a classy you know premium car luxury car right they want luxury so you're gonna have a better you know tip and better money Let me just uh, just want to look at my car really quick. I just want to see everything's good. Don't forget the perks. The perks when you uh, when you get the perks, when you unlock the perks, the game becomes more rewarding. So that that way you don't have to spend more money. Uh, fixing your car you don't have to spend like right now I can fix my car without going to the garage and that's pretty cool yeah I mean I like that I like that ability to be able to fix my car without having to travel to my garage and that is a that is a huge bonus So, in terms of these patches, I want to say this, don't expect this patch to fix everything. You know, there's still room for the improvement, okay, and they're still going to be, you know, fixing this game and, and working on it. But the good news is that at least they're doing something, all right? They're listening to the feedback and at least they're doing something. So that should give you a little comfort, right? reassurance that hey they're not gonna abandon this game like they did with a train life I don't know what the deal was with the train life I don't know why they abandoned it maybe they're the competition with uh, uh, dovetails train simulator 4 it's like they couldn't compete with that and it's true I mean train simulator 4 is the best and it's difficult to compete with that so I, I, they figured, let's just scrap that. Let's work on something that's not available. And what's not available? A taxi. We don't have any taxi games. So here we go. You know. Now the taxi game is here. going on here oh look she's sitting in the front oh my lord well why didn't you say something
right, there we go. Home sweet home. Got you. Here, see. Take care. All right. We're gonna take this up to task. We got uh, five stars already, which is good. Uh, it's where we want to be. Five stars. Seven hundred eighty-five. I also noticed they um, they added a lot of uh, taxi cabs. Like I said, I do notice uh, a lot of taxis. A lot of taxis are being added now. Like Barcelona black and yellow uh, taxis, I do see them. Oh, I, oh no, I hit a pedestrian, damn it, that was my fault, that was my fault, can't blame anybody else but me, I should have looked, but that's okay, shit happens, yeah. we'll do this one, this one's short, uh, we'll make some extra money. The money that we lost. Yeah. 
it has to be a short distance, which is great for me personally. This will be an easy money. Easy money. Oh yes sir, easy money. I think I'll get a decent tip here. There's an accident over here. Oh no, the it was an accident, yeah. How about that, huh?
It was such a pleasure riding with you. Five stars, man. Four stars. All right. Take that. Take four stars. Let's see what else we got. Um, got thirty six hundred dollars. What else? You gotta remember, my uh, employees are working as well, so they're taking the clients. I might do this one, uh, $820, why not? But first thing first, let me fix this. I need to fix my, uh, my thingy. What thingy is Mr. Forky talking about? This thingy right here. This thingy that you can't see. That's right. For this forbidden thingy that's underneath. No, I'm talking about my pedals. I'm adjusting my pedals, all right? What else did you think I was talking about? You guys have a dirty mind. I'm telling you right now. I think everyone has a dirty mind. 100%. 100%. So are you guys excited about uh, the rise of Ronin, man? I am, honestly. Uh, look, man. Anything that has to do with, like, uh, Japanese role-playing games, man, I'm in. Especially coming from Team Ninja. Um, the fact that you can switch between two characters, I love that. Some people are complaining about the parry system, where you have to parry and then attack, parry, attack. I'm okay with that. Dude. Me personally, I don't have I don't have any issues with that. I call that timing combat. I love timing combat. We have to time it. Um, so it's not going to bother me. But I understand why some people might complain about that. Look, man, you can't make everyone happy. You know, I I, I hear people complaining about oh the graphics are outdated. You know, uh, I'm like, dude. It's not all about the graphics, dude. It's about the gameplay. And I've learned that lesson with Callisto Protocol. I think it's safe to say Callisto Protocol had photorealistic graphics. Photorealistic, you know. But no one cared. The game still sucked. Why did it suck? It had photorealistic graphics. It was amazing. Right? Unreal Engine 4.2 which is close to Unreal Engine 5 but the game sucked and why did it suck because the core base gameplay was not there the story was not there character development was not there and because of that it sucked so people you know don't get you know too tangled up with graphics it's not all about the graphics man okay it's about the mechanics of the game, the core gameplay. That's what makes the game. That's why we play the video games, all right? Uh, if you can bring the graphics and the gameplay at the same time, that's, that's fine and dandy. But the, the main focus should be the gameplay, the core gameplay, right? Uh, yes, we all appreciate nice graphics, okay? Don't get me wrong. Uh, but what Team Ninja is focusing on, I think, it's the story, the character development, and trying to bring that historical Japanese um, uh, storytelling through the eyes of the Ronin, this Ronin, 
and this is the time in in Japanese history when the Japan was more westernized was moving to be more westernized kind of like you ever seen the movie with Tom Cruise the last samurai it's kind of like that it, it's really kind of like the last samurai in a way but me personally I'm like I don't care that much about the graphics really I really don't I know a lot of you guys are focused on graphics and, and I think that's wrong you know you know I don't care about the graphics and how realistic they are if if the gameplay it's not there if the the story development if the character development it's not there if the combat it's not there well the graphics really don't mean nothing other than just some some technical achievement of what's possible because yesterday I was watching this one guy um, I don't remember his name uh, he got the game for free I don't know how he got it I guess Sony approached him Team Ninja approached him and he got a, a, a copy of the game to play it and he spent a bunch of time on it playing it um, he likes the game, he likes the, the combat system, he likes the story development and all of that, he likes the open world, but he says he just feels that the game is outdated graphically. And that's the one complaint that he has. And I'm like, dude, see I made my money. The shift was over and I made my money. And I'm like, dude, who cares about the graphics? You know? It's, it's not all about that, man. I mean, it's nice to have nice graphics, don't get me wrong, but I don't see anything wrong with the graphics, man. I don't know, man. I, I, I think the graphics are just fine. You know what I mean? But anyway. each to its own right I personally think that okay let me give you my uh, my predictions I'll give you my honest predictions and we'll see if my predictions are right or if they're not right so mark your calendars today's what the 19th of March right 2024 year of our Lord um, my prediction for the rise of the Ronin which is a PlayStation 5 exclusive game I think it's gonna sell out so many copies it's gonna break all kinds of records in sales and um, I think it's gonna be a huge hit that's my prediction yes I know it's being released the same day the same date as uh, Capcom's Dragon's Dogma 2 but that's my prediction that's my prediction and that's what I think remember guys when when someone is reviewing a game it's just their opinion it doesn't mean that the game it's not gonna be successful it doesn't mean that it's not gonna make a lot of money it's just a person's opinion okay people have opinions about everything and that's okay that's their business you know people have opinions about me but that's their business I have opinions about other people too but that's my business uh, so that's what it is and you, you know and it's not a Bible it's not a fact it's just a person's opinion so keep that in mind guys when you are watching these other youtubers when you are uh, reading a Game Informer or GameSpot or IGN when you're reading their reviews just keep in mind keep keep in mind it's their opinion that's all it is and you shouldn't not play the game because a guy has an opinion you're like uh, this guy says I don't know 
the graphics are outdated and it's a parry system, timed attacks, you know. It has to, everything has to be timed, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I'm going to like that. Don't. Don't listen to uh, opinions. And don't make your purchases based on the opinions. If I listen to other people's opinions, guess what? I would have never played this taxi game. If I listen to people's opinion, I would have never played uh, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. I would have never played it. But I played it because I want to see it for myself. You know. Does the game have issues? Yeah, it does. Did I enjoy it? I did. For what it is. So and I and I'm gonna finish it. I still have it. It's uh it's on my uh I'll show you at the end of this live stream. I still have it. I didn't delete it. Some people think I no, I didn't delete it. I still have it. It's on my Steam library. I still have it. And I and I'm gonna finish it. I just don't know when I'm gonna finish it because we got, you know, the rise of the Ronin. We got Dragon's Dogma 2, man. Uh, and, and pretty soon, man, in June, we have Elden's Ring 2. I think I might give it an Elden's Ring 2 try, dude. I think I might jump in Elden's Ring 2. I think I should. Honestly, I think I, think I should. I think, uh, you know, if I'm going to be John Wick Returns, listen. If I'm going to be a Baba Yaga, that you know I'm a Baba Yaga, then as a Baba Yaga, I can't turn down a challenge, a challenge of the Elden's Ring too. I'll even create my own character to look like John Wick. That's right. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna play uh, Elden's Ring too. I will. I think I have to. I have to. Am I going to be good at it? Well, we'll see. We'll find out, man. You know. We'll see. That's 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 the fun part. To see my struggle and the struggle is going to be real. But I'm also determined. I'm also, you know, John Wick. It's a man of focus, determination, and sheer fucking will. So, you know, I will give it a try. I shall. Who's in my taxi? Oh, cool. Let's go. I gotta tell you, guys, twenty twenty four already has a bunch of video games dude and uh we're only like a three months into this year only three months into this year and it's already a bunch of how games how long we arrive it shouldn't take long that's great i have a busy schedule and i really need to be on time oh uh, don't worry it's gonna be tough to balance everything my week has been hectic i never seem to have enough free time Sometimes it's better to slow down. I completely agree. Uh, life moves too fast. Alright, we're gonna try to get this guy as quick as possible. Uh, we're gonna try and do that. You know, we'll try to do him a favor. If we can. If it's possible. So anyway, as I was saying... What is this guy doing? Come on. As I was saying earlier, uh, first three months of 2024, dude, there's like tons of tons of video games. No one should complain about uh, this year so far, man. I've never seen so many games as I did like this year. In a in a, in a first three months, man, of 2024. Are you kidding me?
All right, so this guy, we got to bring him a little bit faster because uh, he had a hectic week. You know, he's not in good mood, so we got to get him on time. Okay. You can have all types of different customers. You know, shitty mood. Oh shit. Accident. Shit happens. But yes, even though you want to get uh, in a hurry, you want to get there as quick as possible, you still got to be careful not to crash, not to break any uh, traffic laws. So there's that too. That's the challenge. Jesus, it's already been two, two hours and 15 minutes. I got to tell you something. Every time I play this game, time flies by. It is such a weird... It's such a weird thing, man. Um, the time flies by. Every time I touch this game, every time I play it, times just fly by. See, it's good to have a good brakes. See, I got a great brakes, so. So as we are, as we are going as quick as we can, I still have to be careful not to uh, break any traffic laws. Especially now, there it is, you know, you got police right there. What else do I want to see in this game? I want to see, for sure, I want to see more, uh, I want to see more cars. I want to see limos. I want to see uh, bigger vans. I want to see um, big SUVs that can fit eight people in there and more luggages, you know, like Suburbans, Escalades. I want to see more stuff. Um, a limo would be perfect. A limo really would be great, you know. The only problem with the limo, honestly, that I can see is making those tight turns on these tight corners in these tight narrow streets in Barcelona that will be one of the issues I think but certainly more cars we need more cars uh, a variety of different cars you know. so that's my request if you guys can oh where's this 
probably did this. Probably did that. So that's what I would be. That's what I would rec uh, recommend is for the developers. That's my request to uh, bring some more cars. You know, the more cars we have, the better, man. You see, I wasn't speeding like crazy because I knew if I do that, I'll get myself some kind of accident um, or I'll get a ticket. So I'm kind of playing it safe. I am being quick. I'm trying to get there as quick as possible, but safely, safely, quick as possible. You know what else I noticed? The traffic lights have been uh, adjusted as well. I'm not hitting that many red lights. I see a lot of uh, uh, calibrated green lights, which is which is good. See, like right here, for example, and that's great. I mean, that's why I want to see. I want to see that <sighs> balance. The key is the balance. Tell the AI we want balanced. Uh, algorithm or program the AI to do balanced algorithm Here we go. Look how good my brakes are, man. Huh? I think I'll get a good tip. The map expansion, yes. We want to see uh, this map expand because we don't want to drive through the same routes, right? We want to see expansion of the map. Uh, what else do I want to see? I want to see rain. Uh, it would be nice to see some rain in this game with a thunderstorm. That would be great. Wet surfaces, rain, thunderstorm expansion of the Barcelona city because Barcelona is much much bigger obviously uh, to expand the map I want to see that that'd be great um, support for Toby eye tracker so I can move my head left and right instead of uh, doing this you know uh, that'd be great more cars limos SUVs things like that um, yeah I mean, there's so much they can do here, man. Uh, different types of passengers, different conversations. Uh, there, there's so much they can do. <laughs> Level 26. Look at that, man. Level 26, man. Made $1,000. Yeah. I'll take this. This is six this is seven hundred dollars, six hundred dollars plus tip, seven hundred. Uh it's easy. It's a easy route. Um I'll probably get this. I'll do this. We'll take this task.
And now I got five thousand dollars. How about that? Huh? Wait, we got a, uh, we got something here. There we go. Oh, I forgot. Hold on. I need one more skill point so I can unlock the uh, low abiding, low by obedience. This low obedience number two will uh, cancel two tickets per day. This is a, a great perk to have to be able to cancel two tickets per day, and this will really help me out big time, you know. And then I got this one, low obedience for the pedestrians. Level 26, man. I got a total of five cars. I want to get a sixth car. I want to have as many cars as possible, man. I think that's the whole, that's the whole idea, man. The more cars, the better. But this one is the best, you know. If you want the best car, this is it, the Mercedes. But they do need to add more cars, you know. They need to expand the routes. <clears throat> Well, hello there. Get in. Get in, get in, my friends. And what do we have here? Well, well, well. You don't say, do you? You don't say. This is going to be a short distance. I'm going to make decent money here. Maybe some tip. If I'm a good driver, I might get some decent tip here. Get stuck in traffic today. Don't worry. You were with me. You're not going to get stuck. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Hold on. I'll make sure we have a smooth ride. I appreciate your confidence. Don't worry. It's my pleasure. I'm an experienced driver. Well, you're in good hands.
You're in good hands, man. Don't worry. I'll get you there, bro. You got nothing to worry, bro. Nothing. You're gonna have a smooth ride. The ride's gonna be smooth as the butter. Right? Right. Right, right. Smooth as a butter. I'm gonna get this guy on time. You see, I like this. Now they changed it. Now some passengers, they want you to get him there as quick as possible. So it depends on the passenger. And I like that they did that, that they kind of mixed it up a little bit. That makes it even more realistic, in my opinion. There we go. As promised. We're going to get you to your destination, as promised. I'm a man of my word. If I tell you I'm going to do something, man, take it to the bank. Take it to the bank. Five star, man. Nice. We'll take this one. This one's twelve hundred dollars. We got time. We get time. Man.
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See, pedestrians are not crossing the street like they used to. So it's kind of toned down a little bit. It's great. And I think after this, I should be able to purchase another car. I'll have enough. Then I'll have six cars. Six. How about that, huh? Where are we going, Chief? Hold on. I would like to see something like this in Grand Theft Auto 6, man. I think that would be a pretty cool concept if they did like a taxi, Uber uh, mode um, in Grand Theft Auto 6. That would be great. That would be pretty awesome. Dude, there's so much they can do with Grand Theft Auto 6. I can't even imagine what they're going to do. In terms of mods and modding and oh my god, Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be just bananas and coconuts and everything else in between. There, dude, there's no competition next year. No one can even dare. No one can't even dare to, to stand against uh, a big behemoth as Grand Theft Auto 6, man. Are you kidding me? Because it is a bohemian. You noticed how cars don't crash onto me anymore like they used to and that's really nice man that's so refreshing that I don't have to worry about that <clears throat>
go. Green light. Green light. I guess we'll find another route. Uh oh. Uh, where are we gonna go now? I hate when this happens. Alright, let's do this really quick. I know, we gotta do it. it sucks, I know. Wasn't there some John Wick shit right there? Come on, man. That was some John Wick shit right there, man. Come on. Come on, man. Here we go, guys. We made it. We made it.
trying to kill us? No, I'm not. Just relax. I'm trying to park the car, dude. Calm down. Calm down. Don't expect a tip for that ride. How much money did I make? Thirteen hundred dollars. Level twenty six. This one's easy, eleven hundred dollars. We'll take this one as well. How much money do I have? Seven thousand dollars. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, whatever. Seven thousand dollars. Let me. See. I'm gonna make one more. I get eight thousand. Make some more money. Passengers. With eight thousand dollars, I can purchase another car and have six cars. I just want to pick up this client and make that extra $1,000 and uh, then go to the garage and buy a new car. Then I'll have six cars. This is supposed to be an easy, uh, easy trip. There we go. Hey. Hi. How you all doing? Come on. Ah. Damn it. I hate when it happens. Just lost money. Hate that shit, man. man. Damn it, man. I was just making. Uh. 
hate when this shit happens. Just hate that shit, man. All right, this is easy. I can make that extra nine hundred dollars. Oh man! You know what? Let's go, man. We're in a hurry, man. We don't have time for this nonsense. Come on. We're in a John Wick mode now. I need to pick up this client and get that easy money. Where the hell is this client? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Man. It's the middle of nowhere, man. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do it. You know what? I'll do it in a, in a third person mode. I gotta be able to see, man. A field of view is something that I would like to see in this game to be adjusted. Because the field of view right now, it's not all that. Like, give me the ability to adjust my field of view. Or give me the ability to use a uh, Toby Eye Tracker. This would be a welcome addition. <clears throat> to the features on this game. I 
I think every racing game should support Toby Eye Tracker. It's a must, man. My opinion, it's a must. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Wait. I'm confused, I'm confused now. I'm supposed to go this way? Dream job. I always knew this is what I wanted to do. That's really cool. Not many people get to do what they love for a living. I got super lucky. Yeah, I'm lucky. I love driving and meeting new people every day. That sounds really nice. Yeah. I got seventy four hundred dollars plus this other job is be eight thousand. We're almost there. Get that easy money. Easy, easy. Easy money, my friend.
I think I'll get a good tip here. I'm super confident I'll get a great tip. Let me see something. Hold on. Why don't I just go straight and then left? You know what, man? I'm going to go straight and left. That's it. There we go. I got you guys on time, didn't I, huh? Come on, give me a good tip. Almost level 27. Almost. Almost. How much money did I get? Nice. Eight thousand four hundred seventy six. Nice. Oh, look, the garage is right there, dude. Hold on. No shit. Garage is, dude, it's like right there. Straight and right. There we go. Let me turn around. Get in there. All right, so let's take this off. I can't believe it's been three hours already. Three hours. So, time for me to buy a car. Uh, I'm going to buy this, man. This I can get later on. I can get this later on. I'm going to go with this. It's only $5,000. Now I'm going to have six cars, dude. Six cars. I can go to management. I can... Uh, Use this one and use and use uh, do some maintenance.
customize. So now we have this car. So now I got six cars, dude. Six cars. I like this, the whole military thing. I like this. Looks pretty cool. I might go with this. It's only $100. Why not? There you go. I got $3,376. Almost level 27. <laughs> Three thousand three hundred seventy six dollars. And let me do uh, management and assign Mercedes uh, to a VIP, Felix. You're going to be working tourist place. From 12 till 8. There you go. This one's empty. I'm going to put... We're going to hire... We're gonna hire Lucy. I'm gonna put Lucy here. She's gonna work this area between 6 and 2 a.m. There you go. And I'm good, man. Now, now I got I got six cars, man. Now I have six cars. And I got $3,376 money in the bank. Ugh. So I'm good, good here, yeah. With six cars, I'll be pulling in some pretty good money here, man. Pretty, pretty, pretty good money to worry about. All right, guys. Well, there you have it.
Let's save the career. Let's overwrite it. Six cars. I'm going to get another car once I reach like... Um, I might get another premium car. Actually, no, I'm going to get that small car. You know, that, that little small one, that's $6,000. I'll get that small one. Once I get like uh, $7,000 or $8,000, uh, then I can get that smaller car and then have seven cars. Uh, then I'll pull in pretty good income, man. You know, I'll be pulling in some really good income. And, um, you know. And then maybe with all that income, I can save twenty-four thousand or thirty thousand and get another Mercedes and have two Mercedes, and then two vans and two Teslas, running around with like ten cars and pulling in some even more, even more income, you know. So uh, look, before I go, I want to say this. Uh, the good news is this. Uh, Look, I have spent 50 hours, 50 plus, 50 plus hours on this game. So I'm pretty familiar with this game. And um, the good news is that they are at least doing something. They're listening to feedback and at least they're doing something. So that's the, uh, uh, that's the good news, that they're at least doing something. Uh, tweaking things here and there uh so that's good they're listening to the feedback and they're starting to patch this game they already put one patch update this morning so uh that's good news so the patches are coming that's good uh, for whom is this game before i leave this game it's really meant for um a simulators if you know if you're somebody who likes these types of games, you know, you like simulations, simulators, uh, you want to have your own Uber company, your own taxi company, right? Um, this is it. But I want to say this before I go. You Use the racing wheel. Logitech racing wheel. I know you can use a game pad, and I know you can lay on your couch, on your sofa, on your bed, right, on your big screen. But I'm telling you, you will be frustrated with a uh, controller. Racing wheel, trust me, it's much, 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 much better and highly recommended. I recommend Logitech. Logitech across the board, man, is the best racing wheel out there. I don't care what anybody says. The reason I say it's the best racing wheel because it is the most compatible and reliable racing wheel. I never had any issues with this racing wheel. It is compatible across the board. Uh, and these newer models are compatible with the PlayStation and Xbox and PC. I mean, Logitech all the way, man. Logitech racing wheel all the way to go. I know there's Thrustmaster. I know there's a Fanatic. I know all these other ones. Fine. And I know that even uh, the Turtle Beach is coming in with their direct drive racing wheel. But I'm telling you, Logitech across the board, the best. And the most compatible, the most user-friendly. Uh, you download that Logitech app. And the Logitech app will automatically detect your wheel and it will calibrate it. You can calibrate it with your own custom adjustment if you want. Logitech all the way. Logitech makes, in my opinion, the best reliable racing wheels. And uh, I don't think I'm the only one saying this. There's other people out there saying the same thing. So, yeah, get, get yourself a Logitech racing wheel. And you're welcome. Trust me, it, it's, a, it's a night and day difference. From this, from this to our racing wheel, which is right here, Logitech, uh, dude, it's night and day difference. Night and day difference, guys. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. I might take a break tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Because I've been really busy doing stuff, guys. Uh, I've been super tired. Uh, maybe. If I'm not tired, you might see me do something tomorrow. Uh, but if I'm tired, probably not. Um, so, 
Friday is the big one. Friday is the big day because Friday we're doing. Um, The rise of the Ronin, and uh, I'm gonna try to do it a little bit earlier, like 12 o'clock noon, from 12 o'clock till like you know, nine o'clock for like nine hours, maybe 10 hours from 12 till 10. Like, let's do it like 10 hour, do a 10 hour live stream, and uh, I think within 10 hours on Friday of that live stream, I'll have a pretty good idea how I feel about uh, the rise of the Ronin. I'll have a pretty good idea on um, what the game it's all about in terms of the combat uh, and the open world and things that you can do. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So come join me on uh, Friday, 12 o'clock noon, which would be Eastern Time, East Coast Time. All right. Love you all, guys. Be good. Uh, stay safe and um, have fun. Have fun. Okay. Enjoy the moment. Have fun tomorrow there's no guarantees for tomorrow but there is a guarantee for right now for right now you can have a good time don't waste your time on things that are not worth your time um, and uh, certainly don't waste your time on people that don't appreciate you for what you are just have a good time be in the moment and live life love you be good take care